So I don't know if you know this. So you see the lights behind me, and there's uh, three of them actually, and they're uh, red. And so I keep, I actually change them. Um, if we're in a green day, I change them to green, and I keep them red. If we're in a red day, some days just for fun, I like to make them blue or purple. But for the most part, <laughs> it's red or green. And that's kind of the theme of the video. There is a tremendous amount of red fear out there right now. You can see it, you can feel it, and it's something I want to talk about, all right? And so this is the Crypto Fear and Greed Index. I actually I actually prefer the word fear and confidence. That's really how I think about it, the fear and confidence. And you can see right here, this chart is the one that I want to talk about. We're at a 22. Yesterday we were at a 28. Today we're at a 22. Last week we were at a 37. But we're in extreme fear right now. And so if you don't know what this is, the Fear and Greed Index, it goes out and it measures, it has all these different data points and how it gathers data and it measures social sentiment and social anxiety or social excitement about crypto. That's what it does. And it brings it back and brings it into this one graph that is pretty darn cool. Okay, so 22, extreme fear, lots of fear. All right. So I want to walk you around the park a little bit. So I was looking around before I did this video and I'm kind of like, what's going on in the overall market? And so I always check crypto and I check stocks. Now I own crypto, I own stocks and all that kind of stuff, but I always keep my eye on this, Dow and the NASDAQ. I watch these two a lot, okay? And usually they're not really tied to crypto per se, meaning like if the Dow's having a really, the Dow 30's having a really bad day or the NASDAQ, et cetera, it always doesn't have a direct correlation to what's going on with crypto. And right here, right now with crypto, you can see we're down 1.9%. We're 1.96 trillion, okay? And you can see kind of Bitcoin and Ethereum are down in the last 24 hours, 1.4 and 1.2. But there's a lot of fear out there. And there's a lot of fear out there for a couple of reasons. And I want you to understand that I get it, okay? And how I'm dealing with the fear kind of on my side of it is I'm simply holding, all right? Taking a few little profits here and there, uh, paying tax bills and things like I, you know, like that I had to because basically today is tax day, well, you know that kind of deal. Um, but this is the kind of stuff that drives me nuts. Look at this. There's this. There's this article here. Cryptocurrencies may all quote come crashing down per Michael Lewis in a new interview. Best-selling author Michael Lewis cautioned that the value of crypto may dramatically plummet and its wide adoption could threaten traditional. And I'm not even going to click on that but it's gonna could threaten traditional probably finance, banking. The finance and banking world is scared as scared to death of crypto. And the governments are scared of crypto. United States, worldwide, they're scared of crypto. Crypto's very scary if you're not in it. And if you're in a traditional financial world, crypto is scary. It is, okay? I want you to understand that I get it, okay? Or I'm making you aware of this. And so, oh, by the way, wrapped around kind of all that is this other layer of Russia-Ukraine war, what's going to happen or not, although I think that's kind of taken a little bit of a backseat. You can even tell in the news it's taken a backseat, okay? Beyond that, you've got macroeconomic things going on right now, which most, which really the big one is the Federal Reserve decision, the upcoming Federal Reserve meeting that's going to happen in May. What is the Fed going to do about raising interest rates? Are they only are they going to raise them 25 basis points or 50 basis points? I've talked about this in a bunch of videos. And if they raise them 50 basis points, I think that that's going to be a bad catalyst to crypto to move it down. Okay, not not like a recession crash or scenario, but it is going we it is going to have an impact on crypto, okay? If they only raise it 25 uh, basis points, that's probably going to be viewed as kind of in line with expectations, things of that nature. My point, the Federal Reserve is creating fear. It's creating fear in the market, period, okay? And so in that context, I wanted you to I wanted to talk to you about fear and I wanted to say just, you know, look, there's lots of fear out there and the best way to deal it is well, okay, let's back up. You have to deal how you have to deal with it however is best for you. How I'm dealing with it, I'm holding. Okay, I have a very long-term view of the crypto market. I want, I'm going to be here when crypto is three trillion, four trillion, five trillion. Is it in the overall crypto market capitalization? That's how I'm looking at it. That's what I'm going to be. I'm okay. Okay. 
And I think of this as kind of weathering the proverbial storm. You know, I mean, that's literally how I think about it. I'm just here, just gonna, I'm just treading water. That's all I'm doing. Real chill, treading water. Got my little drink, treading water. <laughs> water metaphor, visual works for you. As always, appreciate you. Have a good one. Go get, about, and actually one of the best ways to deal with fear, get out. Stop looking at it. Go walk the dog. Go spend time with your family. Go do something you like to do. Go go do something that de-stresses you. Go walk through a park. Go, go do whatever that thing or things are that take the stress a little bit out of your life. That's what I got for you. As always, I appreciate you. Have a good one. Thank you truly for being a supporter. If you haven't already done so, hit that subscribe button. We'd love to see you stick around. Thanks.